Samsung's Galaxy S20 Ultra is here. It's really expensive and it's got a whole lot of megapixels. How does it stack up to the Google Pixel 4 XL? Let's find out. You've probably noticed, this isn't the usual CNET offices. We're all on lockdown here in Sydney, but don't worry, office or no office, we're still gonna keep this professional. When it comes to the S20 Ultra, there are two key numbers. 1400, the amount of dollars you'll need to spend if you wanna get one, and 108, the amount of megapixels the main rear camera can capture. But does one number justify the other? Here we have a Google Pixel 4. If we're talking about flagship phones from the likes of Samsung, Google, Huawei, Apple, then personal preference will always be a big factor. But if the conversation is about best camera on a phone, the Pixel is always involved, even if it doesn't have an ultra wide angle lens. So how does the S20 Ultra's sumptuous camera setup fare against the $900 Pixel 4 XL? In some cases, it's a close call, but overall, this is a win for Samsung. Let's begin with standard photography, a qualified victory for the S20 Ultra. The Pixel 4's camera is more consistent. It does a good job at not blowing out highlights or overexposing. Taking the right shot on the S20 Ultra often means finicking with the focus to make sure it's not either too bright or too dark. At the end of my testing, I found it took one or maybe two attempts to get a good shot with the Pixel. Conversely, I'd often have four or five variations on the S20 Ultra remnants of my attempts to get the focus just right. The flip side is that the S20 Ultra ends up taking more impressive shots. Photos look more vibrant and colors more rich. In previous articles, I've compared Apple's iPhone 11 Pro to Huawei flagships, where Huawei phones tend to shoot more striking photos at the expense of detail. The S20 Ultra gets it just right, shooting photos that pop without sacrificing information. There are exceptions, like this photo, where the Pixel retains more finer details. But generally speaking, the Pixel shots look undersaturated as compared to the S20 Ultra and only rarely look more detailed. A quick note on the 108 megapixel camera. It's pretty cool. Once you flick on Ultra HD mode, you'll shoot photos in 108 megapixels. This results in a much bigger file size and increased detail retention when you zoom in. It's pretty nifty, but not really worth buying a phone for. Still, it's one of several features that the S20 Ultra has that the Google Pixel 4 doesn't. But easily the most egregious omission on the part of the Pixel 4 is the ultra wide angle lens. Its absence was painful upon launch last year and hurts with every new flagship released. Here, you'll see some shots taken with the S20 Ultra. And since the Pixel 4 doesn't have an ultra wide angle lens, Please enjoy this trailer of Fast and Furious 9. Hold on. Let's move on to portraits. This is a really close call, but I have to give the slight edge to the Pixel 4. Both phones shoot excellent portraits, but in distinct ways. Your personal taste will make the biggest difference, more so than camera quality itself. With that said, the Pixel gets a win because it's more consistent. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a beautification effect that doesn't disappear even when you manually disable the beautify mode. As a result, all portraits end up smoothening your skin. The Pixel 4 goes the opposite way, sharpening up minute details. Take this shot. Personally, I like the Pixel 4's better. To my eye, the background in the S20 Ultra looks washed out and Esther's face looks blurry in comparison but Essa herself preferred her likeness as captured by the S20 Ultra. But the reason the advantage goes to the Pixel 4 is consistency. The S20 Ultra sometimes does shoot better portraits, but the Pixel captured balanced shots in a wider variety of lighting conditions. In this shady picture of Hue, the Pixel does overcompensate with contrast, but it looks a lot richer than this duller, flat shot the S20 Ultra took. Usually, the distinction between the two phones isn't as vast, both are highly competent at edge detection too, meaning you'll see very little blurring between background and foreground, as exemplified by this publican's exceptional mullet. So the S20 Ultra does deserve props for shooting terrific portraits, but if it was me getting my photo taken, I would trust the Pixel 4 just a bit more. While the Pixel 4 cinches a slight win for portrait, 
it suffers a significant loss for zoom. Lossless zoom was something Google trumpeted when the Pixel 4 was launched, but now it's been well and truly outdone by Samsung. It's not just that the S20 Ultra can do 100 times zoom, a magnification that's kind of useless, even if it's technically impressive. It's that comparing the two phones at three, five, and eight times zoom, where the Pixel 4 taps out, shows a huge gulf in picture quality. Take a look at Sydney University in three, five, and eight times magnification. You'll see that the S20 Ultra retains much more detail and endures less magnification blur. This photo of Sydney's University of Technology shows it too. Look at the corners of this Jenga building. They're much sharper on the S20 Ultra. The pixel zoom also loses color richness as compared to the S20 Ultra, as you can see in this close-up of street art. Many people don't really take advantage of zoom, but if it's a feature you care about, it's one that the S20 Ultra nails. The Pixel 4's night sight shoots more dynamic low light shots with more contrast and pop. The result is often a slightly more striking photo with slightly less detail. In this shot of a looming tree, the S20 Ultra was able to capture more information as you'll see on the left side by these leaves. But other times, the Pixel 4 shot more arresting photos with minimal detail loss, if any at all. It scores a clean win with this photo of Garrett, who looks much more vivid when captured by the Pixel 4. Most of the time though, it comes down to taste. The S20 Ultra captures more light in this shot of a flower, for instance, but the contrast and shadows makes the subject pop more on the Pixel. I would call this a tie. Both of these phones perform exceptionally at nighttime. The Pixel 4 is still among the best cameras you'll find on any phone, but it's outgunned by the S20 Ultra. Samsung's new flagship kills the Pixel on zoom, generally shoots more lively photos, and its 108 megapixel mode is a nice addition. The Pixel 4 still hangs in there, especially the portraits and low light shots. At this point, the absence of an ultra wide angle camera is just painful. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a better camera than the Google Pixel 4. Whether that difference is worth several hundred dollars is another question.